Hi, my nose and my foos. Welcome back to another reaction of I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. And in the last episode, I asked you guys which side had the better waifu, the real world or the isekai world. And I did not choose an answer. We're going to go with Chris Mason. He says the world world because Kaori simply because she liked him when he was still fat. But if you're going for looks, I'm going with Kaede. It's hard to compete with her weapons of mass destruction. What weapons of mass destruction? I have no idea what weapons of mass destruction you speak of. This question of the day is, since I was talking about it on stream earlier, and it seems like this episode is going to be focused on you going to the entertainment industry, because I kind of read the description a little bit. If you were to describe your sense of style in one word, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's hop into this episode of I Got a Cheat Skill in Another World and Became Unrivaled in the Real World 2. Yuya's doing ping pong? Dude, Yuya's gonna destroy everyone in ping pong. This is gonna be ping pong the anime. Oh, this man. This man had such an interesting low voice. <laughs> he straight up doesn't know. Dude, me. This is me every day. Every day of my life when you guys are not subscribed to my YouTube channel. So please subscribe or else it's gonna be me every day. Thick with tears, bro. You can meet famous voice actors and popular cosplayers, you know? I'm not in the entertainment industry. Well, I am, but I am not known in the entertainment industry. And I know famous voice actors and popular cosplayers. As someone as unworthy as me. You guys not talking like that. I should follow that advice, but I'm never going to follow my own advice. <laughs> yeah, that's all that was instructed. Dude, is she, is she planning on forcing him? Yo, why is she walking? <laughs> why is she walking like that? Why is she walking like that? She's walking like... <laughs> That's right. It was just a series of chance events. Oh, it's his, it's his cursed girlfriend. Dude, now everyone's gonna like be hella on their game. They gotta be super try hard. D don't, don't they need... Don't they need permission? <laughs> Don't they need permission from like you, the person that they're taking pictures of? Oh, there that that this is this is the best part of the anime. Not not the girls, but the puppy using hyper beam. Look at that. Yeah. Dude, they're fighting undead now. Oh yeah, he has a pig pet now. Soon he's gonna go so deep into the forest, he's gonna make it his way to the kingdom. The trees are hard. Hard black tree. An extremely hard black tree. It cannot be scratched, let alone felled, by ordinary attacks or impacts. This area in which it grows it's, is shrouded in mystery. And as a rare valuable material, it fetches staggering amounts of money at auctions. Oh, really? Felling the trees is difficult unless one uses the spirit magic of the elves or the dwarves' secret techniques. It is also impossible to possess the wood without such skills. <laughs> He's right there! Oh, yo, he actually got hit and it did damage. We haven't seen Yuya take damage like that in a while. Is Yuya mad? Yuya is probably pissed the hell off. This is only level 10. Oh, a mithril boar. You can use that mithril. Use it for uh, weaponry. Has charge, reflect magic. Okay, so you can't attack it with magic. It's just really bulky. Oh, no chance to heal. Hey, this is his opportunity to get stronger then. I shall help you. Is it the bunny? Is it the bunny with the kicks? Is it the bunny with the kicks? I think it's the bunny with the kicks. It is the bunny with the kicks. I didn't like that. A <laughs> rabbit that talks. Disappear. What did he do? What? What did the rabbit do? I have no idea what the rabbit did, but that was. Hold on. I want to read the stats. It went too fast. Kick rabbit level four. God damn. Defense is 10 though, but god damn. So it must be just really fast to dodge a bunch of attacks. Almost like impossible to hit. It has mind's eye, so you could probably like uh, dodge a bunch of attacks. Only level four too. Wandering rabbit. Divine kicker. <laughs> Show me your kicks. <laughs> the poor pig. Ooh. <laughs> He's gonna teach him how to kick. God damn. Why is it night trying? I wanna see the puppy kick. He was able to he was able to kick down a tree. Alright. Yo, he's getting clapped. I like that knight is just paying close attention. What a good puppy! A good puppy. 
Dude, they've been training all night. I've chosen you as my successor. He's about to be trained by every divine. There's a mermaid, an archer, um, what is it, a harpy? Hold on. <laughs> I just realized this rabbit is drinking like carrot juice. What an interesting way to drink juice, car carrots. But when the equilibrium of this world collapses and battling the vile becomes inevitable. That's true. And I'm sure Yuya will want to accept this because he wants to protect his friends in this world. So, you know, understandable. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, what, a, what a delicate little paw. <laughs> Wait, just do it for a rematch. He just has to kick it, right? Who would have thought kicks are more powerful than his sword? Oh! Very nice. But he didn't defeat it with a kick like the bunny. Though I'd like to tell him to defeat it just using kick. That's what I wanted! EX rank. Extra rank. Legend rank. My species will evolve. Oh, shit! What is it gonna evolve to? Aw, oh, I was hoping, like, all of a sudden he would change it to something else, you know? He's a Greg! He's a Greg! I thought he didn't want to do it! <laughs> he doesn't look like a high school student. Dude, this man look older than me! <laughs> it must be a pretty shady profession. The sniper. Damn. Wait, is it legal to hit it like that? <laughs> oh, sh! You could kill a man! Do, do we really? <laughs> do we really guys see the bouncing boo? Huh. He's gonna be playing every sport. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> Bro. W what an isekai. Watch out for the serve. Holy crap, that must have been some serve. I have to, I have to hold back. You're not really going to hold back. Let's be honest here. It did so okay. The KO She's cursed, bro. <laughs> you just going to do all the work. He didn't want, he didn't want her to hit it. Oh, wow. Look at it. Look at you. It's movement, though, dude. Yo, he's just flying. <laughs> Yo, Kaori's scary, bro. Dude, she gotta get out. Of, get, take the racket off her hands, bro. Damn, forcing Yuya as a model this way, dude. She should be. She should be worried about being cursed. Dude, she she about to get isekai, bro. If she just stands there, Chakun about to pull up. Just being with you makes me more than happy enough. Oh, okay, close your eyes. What did she do? What did she do? Wait, what did she do? What did she do? He just said nice smell, so obviously she didn't kiss him. So maybe she cut off a piece of his hair. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought she just cut off a piece of his hair, put it in like a little bottle. <laughs> I'm going to clone him. Ooh, he, he learned magic. She's going to go. She's going to go after Yuya. And then Yuya's gonna befriend her, and then she's gonna end up joining his harem in that world. Pretty sure that's how it's gonna work. Who is she? Yuya's future other girlfriend of another world. This episode of I Got a Cheat Skill in Another World was like a lot of fun. There was a lot of not only information, but it uh, it added of some action, important action that has some layers to it, which I like a lot. I like when anime does that. It makes like the storytelling and the importance so much easy, like not easier to digest, but it makes it more digestible for people who constantly want action non-stop right so just having yuya get the information and the training from the kick rabbit right from the usagi master was was a nice touch we finally saw the rabbit which i've been waiting and seeing when we're going to meet him so that's cool that he's getting the training uh, a lot of uh fan service with the bouncing boobas and uh this <laughs> him uh, evolving but i wish we got to see like if his rank changed right so if you went from human to like superhuman or, or something like that right his evolution and we're seeing in a sense that his evolution uh, showing in the real world 
not physically but like in terms of actions that he's doing that he, he has to drop out of the tournaments that he's a part of because he might kill someone right he almost killed that guy the sniper in that little ping pong tournament and kaori in, in in turn almost killed him because she's dangerous not that she would kill him but if he was just like a normal human i think he would die <laughs> <laughs> Kaori's just a cursed human being. But a lot of cute moments, you know, they kissed. You know, I thought it was something else, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> But yeah, this this episode is pretty surface level. We I see now how they're able to kind of fuse the whole entertainment industry modeling thing with Yuya going to a new school and how it translates over to his thing with the Isekai world, right? Like everything merged in this episode. His strength, the new school, and the entertainment industry. So there was a lot of things merging together. So fun episode all in all. Let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.